welcome to the Tea and a Buddy podcast. I'm Dominic. And I'm Erica. We're talking about British girl bands today. Oh, we just, we just got right into it Word there. Yeah. <laughs> Today's episode, that's what it's about. British girl bands, British yeah. girl bands, yeah. We had There's... a request ages ago. Had, for, yeah. Talk for... about the girl bands. Talk about Spice Girls. Talk about the Spice Girls. Yeah, I think... And I... we're not going to talk about them because <laughs> we decided to leave them out entirely in this episode. <laughs> No, I'm only joking. You want the Spice Girls? Too bad. You're not going to get the Spice Girls. Because there's about a billion other girl bands in the UK. Yeah, and that's something that's weirded you out, isn't it? Yeah. Talking about the UK's music scene. Maybe not weirded me out. Pop scene. Popular music in Britain. I definitely find it interesting because we don't have that many, you know. Yeah, you don't. I mean, yeah. I think Destiny's Child is the only one I can come up with at the moment. No, I mean, we've had En Vogue and... Who's that? Uh, aren't they the ones that say, no, you're never gonna get it. Never, never gonna get it. Who's the one that goes, it. hey, hey, hey. That's not a girl band. Oh. That's just a girl singer in a rap oh, song. Oh, <laughs> well, I was wrong then. Um, But no, we've had girl bands. I mean, we had... Although I was going to say the Bangles are technically a girl band, aren't they? But the, yeah. But the British, are they? No. Oh, they weren't British? No, they're okay. American. There, go. there you go. You can claim them. <laughs> Finally. Yes. <laughs> yes. And the Bangles were bloody good, too. Um, The Pussycat Dolls. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the yeah. Pussycat Dolls. Yeah, but again, they, they didn't really have too much success over here. They had more success in Britain because... They were a girl band. I mean, do we want to go back as far as the Ronettes? Yeah, I guess you know. motor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's probably where. I mean, I haven't really done the like correlation on this, but that's probably where the UK's fascination with girls cavorting around yeah. and singing songs mm-hmm. came from is Motown. Motown is huge in the UK. Yeah, and there were and several the girl groups. Yeah, the Ronettes. Yeah, and the, there were a lot of girl groups yeah. at that time. Um. Can't think of any right now, but you know, <laughs> oh, there were. I, my mind is really. It's the COVID up. brain. My mind is really the COVID up. brain. Um, we came in, and I did you with it that egg. I think that since we started podcasting back this year, we have mentioned COVID in every single podcast. I don't know. I don't know how sick of COVID our listeners are, but you know, I think we should probably try to keep the COVID talk to a minimum. <laughs> Okay, starting from now, COVID. no more COVID. <laughs> no more COVID. 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 Anymore. COVID, COVID. Covey, covey, covey. But yeah, uh, no, I mean, that's where it probably comes from because, and then it intensified in like the late 90s. Well, in the in the early 90s. Well, I think. okay, that's what I was, that, that's, that was a point I was getting at. We had more girl groups early on and yeah. then they just kind of went away. And I think we Never had them came in the, back. <laughs> well, we had some in like the early 90s. Oh, the 90s were the girl group phenomenon. And then they mostly went away until Destiny's Child. And then besides Destiny's Child and Pussycat Dolls, which I cannot name one Pussycat Dolls song. I just know they're the name of their group. Yeah. Um, You know, that's about it. Boy bands are always much more popular in in America for some reason. I mean, we had like the sugar babes, the sugar babes, sugar, <laughs> sugar, because it was like sugar babes, sugar babes. Yeah. Um. You know, we had Eternal. Uh. You know, these were like '90s bands. You know. Uh. You know, I mean, I've got a, I've got a list here: All Saints, Atomic Kitten, Girls Aloud. You know. Yeah. And of course, the biggest one of them all, the Spice Girls. <laughs> oh, we are talking about the Spice Girls. Yeah, I decided to throw them in, you know, give them a shout out. They never get mentioned anywhere, you know. No, but they were really like the, the big boom of it. Yeah. Is where it started, you mm. know. Like, I mean, now nowadays you've got Little Mix. Uh, years ago you had Bewitched. You had all these kind of like uh, bad girl bands out there that they were kind of dominating the pop charts. I mean, you know what? There may be other girl Bands. I don't know why we call them bands, you know, because they don't play anything. They don't really. Pl- <laughs> no, they don't play anything. They just. They just. But it's the same with boy sing, bands. Yeah, same with boy bands. Yeah. Um, there there may be others, but I don't generally listen to that type of pop or 
do I guess it's pop. Yeah, it's just pop, isn't it? Yeah. I don't really listen to it, so you know, I don't In the know. UK it's like that's all you've kind of got access to, really. I mean, obviously you've got access to it, but you know, like Radio One will play them, Radio Two will play them, you know. Mm. So like the first ones I've got up on here, All Saints, they were formed in nineteen ninety three. Their biggest hit though was Never Ever. Never ever gonna do 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 I think that was a hit over here. I thought here. that was a Spice Girls song. Nope. No, it wasn't. You see, you're getting your girl bands uh, confused here Yeah, now. that song was over here. I definitely see, Every girl thought... looks the same in the UK. <laughs> I definitely thought that was Spice Girls. Never ever have... Uh, da, 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 no, that was the All Saints. Da, 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 or All Saints, as they were. Oh. The, you had hmm. uh, Melanie, Chasney, Nicole, and Natalie. Nicole and Natalie were sisters. And, um, you know... Of course, the tabloids fed off their personal lives, you know. Yeah. So it was like that they became bigger than the band. Yeah. You know, which is what happens with these girl groups. They, they, they release a song, they get to number one, and then it's all the tabloids are like, ooh, digging into their lives, and then ooh. they become a personality. Then. Well, you know? I think maybe that's something to do with why girl groups don't do better over here because the media always wants to pit girls against each other yeah you know so i don't think girl groups stand a chance really because it's always like oh she you know she hates her and she's the big bitch that everybody oh, yeah, that no, they no, all that's want how, that out happened, and... that happens in in the girl groups too i mean the, the, most of these i think except for um girls allowed I think they're still going. Mm. Most of, all of these split up, reformed, split up. You know, I mean, I've only got four down here. The next one's Atomic Kitten, and that they were formed in 1998 with Liz McClamon, Kerry Katona, and Natasha Hamilton. Their biggest hit was Hole Again in yeah. 2001. Mm. And I mean, you've been watching Celebs Go Date, and they play it all the time because she's on it now, Kerry <laughs> Katona. Oh yeah, she was the main member, and then she left, and then. You know, she was doing Iceland ads, you know. But see, that's what happens in these girl groups is one of them always leaves. One of them always leaves and gets replaced. And then it's just like, and and it's, the, they're formed by men. Why can I not? Who, this entire time we've been talking, I'm trying to think of the Diana Ross group. Why can I not come up with the, the Supremes. name of them? The Supremes! <laughs> The Supremes, jeez. The Supremes. Unbelievable. I'm just like, uh, the, I could not the come up The Marvelettes, with... you know. I didn't know them, but. <laughs> Please, Mr. Postman, I think they're. Oh, I know that song, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I know that one, yeah. <laughs> See, that. But I, I mean... thought that was the Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but that's what that's that's happened in all of these girl groups, hasn't it? They've they've chopped and changed and got new members and stuff like that, and they're just like, oh, yeah. That never going. happens in any of the boy bands. No, it doesn't. No. That, so that just proves the theory that boys get along better than girls. That's so terrible. God, that's really terrible, isn't it? Terrible, you, know? you know, it's like girls are all like, eh, yeah, girls together. It's like. Oh, she's Girl. left because she's bitching at the other one. Girl, yeah. They, ha they hate her, so that, you know. Yeah. Oh, I mean, she I'm... thinks she's better than them, so she's left, you know. <laughs> That's yeah. what it usually is, you yeah. know. Yeah, uh, The Spice Girls we're going to come on to now. They were formed in 1994. Mm -hmm. All of these people, that's that's the problem, you see. They, they're, they're manufactured, they're put together by someone because they, oh, yeah, let's let's sing. You know, I, I like to be singers. Well, we'll put you with these girls and you can all have a hit together. Yeah. And it's like, it's all fun and games for like the first five months. <laughs> you know? The first five months. Maybe the first year. Yeah. But then it starts, everything's like, oh, I don't, oh, I don't like her. I want to get rid of her. It's like, yeah, because you haven't been mates for years, have you? One of them starts getting more attention than the others. Yeah, one of them's like, oh, then the media, like, oh, we like, we I like mean, Ginger be, Spice I better mean, than Posh Spice. I mean, to be fair to women, yeah. to not make it look like that only goes on with women. That has that has been an issue that's broken up bands. That's been an issue, yeah. Like, oh, we should get out in front there. I know we just said, oh, we can't think of any boy bands that have you know, been replaced, you know, someone's yeah. left and been so-and-so's been replaced with somebody else. But actual instrument playing bands, that happens very frequently, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it does. Somebody becomes, like, the main person. Or they're bitching about how much money someone's getting or someone's getting a credit from the royalties and, you know, yeah, I mean, it used to happen in the 60s a lot, you know. 
Yeah. I mean, except for, like, the main ones, you know, the main, the biggest bands, you know, because they were just like, oh, yeah, they're all equally getting attention, you yeah. know? And it's better for me if I don't leave them, because then I won't have that attention, you know? Mm. Um, but, yeah, the Spice Girls, you had um, Mel B, Melanie Brown, who was scary, Melanie Chisholm, who was Mel C, sporty, Jerry Halliwell, Ginger, Emma Bunton, baby, and Victoria Adams, who was posh. I wonder... And she, she went on to become even... Beckham. Beckham, yeah. And that yeah. was like... That was when... I think... She, well, no, I think Jerry Halliwell was the first to leave them. Because mm. she thought, like, everybody was obsessed with her dress and Jerry Halliwell out there. The, the big, and she had a, fiery red hair. Everybody loved yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> the Union Jack dress. The... Um, yeah, and she she left because they were everybody was offering her solo contracts, and she had like a she had a hit in like the late nineties after she left the Spice Girls, or was it maybe the early two thousands, with its raining men. Because oh, yeah. most of these girl bands, they 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 take other band, they, they they don't really have a hit of their own. It's like a hit with something that's already been a hit. Mm. It's a cover, you know. Mm. So you know, like I think Atomic Kitten had a hit with Eternal Flame. Oh too, yeah, you know, and that, that's a bangle song, Close you know. Your eyes, yeah, give me your yeah. Um, their biggest hit was "Wannabe," though. I mean, I know they had a bunch of hits, but "Wannabe" was their first and biggest one. Spice you know? Girls, yeah, yeah Spice yeah, Girls, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought I thought you were meaning that Atomic Kid. Oh no, Hole Again is. I their feel hit. like I've heard the name Looking Atomic back Kid. In back in uh, they they were pretty big at that at, in when? their time. Oh. Early 2000s. Mm, no. Early, early 2000s. I 2001. Wonder, why do you suppose, because Britain does have so many girl pop groups, um, why do you suppose the Spice Girls got so big and, and came over here? And I, I, the, I think it's because they were there was five of them. They were kind of riding on the crest of the wave. They they were formed in ninety four. They got them together. There was five of them. Was it the gimmick too? Maybe and the, the and I think it was like NME Ginger Spice. Yeah, no, and... that, that was again a moniker that I think NME gave to them, or or some kind of music public publication did. Mm. They had like they were. Oh, right... they weren't already calling themselves that. No, no, no. That was something oh, that was given to them. You know? Oh, interesting. Oh, I didn't. That know was that. a media moniker. You oh, know. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought um, that was just like oh, that's what you know. No, I... you'd think it was, but yeah. no. They got together and they kind of oh, seemed wow, to like. Really they seemed to all have a personality, mm -hmm. whereas like with other other girls, it was just kind of like, oh yeah, we're we're just yeah, we're just singing, you know. Yeah. Uh, you know. Just like anybody. We're just trying to get famous. Yeah. And they don't really have a personality like the Spice Girls had had a bit of personality, mm -hmm. you know, like, girl power and yeah, yeah, no, yeah, they seem to get along. Yeah. You know, and that's why everybody was like, oh, they're like the new Beatles, you know? <laughs> and of course they were riding this cool Britannia. They were kind of like the antithesis of the the Brit pop era. Yeah. Because, you know, you had Oasis and Blur kind of dominating the charts mm -hmm. a little bit with their um, guitar, like bringing back the 60s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they were kind of like, oh, yeah, we need girl bands too. Who we got? The Spice Girls and, you know. I'll tell you what you want, what I really, really want, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you know they they became and it's it's kind of like they became like a hit over here, and it was it's kind of funny how they did, you know, mm -hmm. because you know I mean I guess they made I mean because oh, they I, were huge because wannabe here. was a huge hit over here too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And then everything else went, you know. Uh, and then of course they split up. And, and I would have sworn have that much... never ever. That was I all swore Saints. <laughs> that was them. I swore that was the Spice Girls. You see, I mean, it came out that it came out during the Spice Girls <laughs> reign. You know, that's that's kind of bad because I thought that that was like their second biggest hit. <laughs> I don't know. They were a little bit too. A little bit too young for me, I the guess. Spice Girls. Oh god! You know, I, I was a little bit older already. So I, I was, was a like, I was oh, when they came out. I was about ten. Yeah, my brother was into that. I wasn't really that into them, but you know, I had a friend at school. All the girls at school were, and, and the girls who were 
a little bit younger than me were obsessed with them. My brother was like, oh, Baby Spice, Baby Spice. And I was like, really? I didn't Posh think... Spice. Yeah, I was like, Baby Spice is not the prettiest of them. I was already into the Beatles by the time they came out. <laughs> yeah. So that they were... They, they were had my... to do their Beatle-esque movie, didn't they? <laughs> oh, yeah. The Spice... Was it Spice, spice World? World? Yeah. 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 With so many cameos from people of the day. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it was, I think it was fairly popular, the, their film. Yeah, it was fairly popular, but I mean, it was, you know, I think Roger Moore was in it and uh, Richard E. Grant. Yeah. And <laughs> um, oh, other people too, you know, but yeah, there's a, a parade of cameos and it was just like madcap. Um, but yeah, their their popularity kind of waned pretty fast after Jerry Halliwell left, mm. and then they kind of split up in like the early two thousands. Yeah, I think they even did like a goodbye. You know, they were like, "Oh, goodbye," you know, that song. You know, like Cream, <laughs> oh, like, yeah. as if they were Cream. Like you know, they're... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like they did a they did a they did that. You know, because they were, and of course, Victoria. <laughs> Victoria Beckham became like the media darling with David Beckham, and that was it, you know. Yeah. Um, and I think they're still together. This I think they reformed and they're still together. But you know, Victoria. Kind I mean, of Mel like... B has gone on to to stay in the public eye the most. I would say. Jerry Halliwell, yeah, no, she has not. Mm-hmm. She she was the the front runner. She was the one who grabbed her solo opportunity and tried to make it and then they just tapered the, off the worst one though and i never even really knew her name the other melanie that's melanie it. sporty yeah. she comes on every every chat she does the chat show circuit now and then you know oh yeah i mean i'm, I'm not sure what she's doing i think she used to present stuff mm. you know they wouldn't go on to be presenters or whatever yes you know? but i mean yeah. they're making money off the records because that's they like were Mel, pretty, yeah. Mel B over here yeah. was presented several different things i think and just yeah you know i think she had a reality show too with her husband and her kid mel b did that come on in britain um maybe I yeah don't know. i mean i know she was with eddie murphy or she had a kid that, with eddie yeah murphy. that's who yeah. her kid is with yeah, yeah. anyway <laughs> on to the uh, on to the next one to the last one girls allowed yeah uh they they kind of like almost became like another spice girls did they? But didn't. <laughs> but di- kind of fell short. Did they? Did they? <laughs> Were they though? <laughs> no, Were Sh- they? Cheryl Tweedy. Cheryl Tweedy is kind of like the spokesperson for all the Geordie girls that you see on TV. Is she the one? Cheryl, that... She was called Cheryl Cole for a while because ah, she was married there to we go. I was going to say Cheryl she's Tweedy. the one. She's also a presenter. Yeah, I think. She, she did like you know, and she she did X Factor over here, didn't she? And they couldn't understand a word yeah. she was saying. Yeah, yeah, They were yeah. like, oh, we have to subtitle her. We'll have to get rid of her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because she was talking so, you know, from Newcastle, because she's from the Geordie Girl. Uh, Nadine Coyle, Sarah Harding, Nicola Roberts, Kimberly Walsh, they were like the original lineup. They had like hits with like Jump for My Love, which was in um, Love Actually, but by the Pointer Sisters, <laughs> but they had a hit with that. Uh, Sound of the Underground was their song. I think that was their debut one. They also had another Long Hot Summer. You know, they... They, they, they were they just had... doing cover. They were just doing loads of covers. Long Hot Summer, I think, was actually their song, but the, the title of that song is like, the Style Council had that one. <laughs> uh, other people have had that too. So it's just like, it was very confusing. But yeah, no, Cheryl has become Cheryl now, you know? Oh, yeah. Cheryl, like Cher. Like Cher. You know? <laughs> yes. Oh, like, no. Why are you, man? You know? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the Geordie Cher, you know? The Geordie Shore. <laughs> like the Geordie Shore. <laughs> but yeah, you know, and it's, I think their biggest hit was Sound of the Underground, which came out in 2003. Nowadays, you've got like Little Mix. Mm. I think they're the new newest huge girl band, the hottest girl band going, you know. Yeah. But yeah, the, it's just, I don't know, it's, from what you from what I can see, it's like CD men putting these girls together to make them sell. <laughs> oh no! It's because yeah. they know, like, oh, men men will fancy them. Yeah. You know? Because do they in Britain? Do they do all the like sexy dance moves yeah. as well? Little yeah. mi- little mix do all that. I yeah. think that's why I was just never into them because I'm like a fan of music. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I like music. And these girl groups, they're so often just more about sex, really, mm. than they are about music. You know, it's like... Yeah, most of the music is crap. Just look I at mean, my stripper moves and forget about what I'm actually To be fair singing, to the Spice you know? Girls, they didn't do that. No, I mean, they didn't. Yeah, and, and, and with some of these, like, Atomic Kitten, yeah, maybe not. They weren't so sexual, mm. you know? But, yeah, I mean... And I don't mind choreographed... Most- dances but it's like the dances that they do are just so overtly sexual yeah. it's like that's what it's all about really the skimpy it's, costumes uh, but that's what I, the... I was watching this documentary about this guy and he was trying to put it i think he was like some sort of like editor for a newspaper i can't remember what his name was now but it was on channel five and it was years ago mm. and he was like getting into doing stuff and he was you know he was doing it but he was trying to put this girl band together yeah and i remember him saying on camera oh i don't care if they can sing i don't care if they can play instruments i just care if they sell yeah just get me the most attractive birds put them together put them in skimpy outfits yeah. scantily clad and put them out there you know yeah create a song for them and it's like yeah that doesn't really work. Yeah, I mean, know? it does, though, obviously. <laughs> it does, it, it does, but it doesn't at the end of the day. It doesn't last. It doesn't last. No. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, you've got to have a, a, have a bit of talent behind these girls, yeah, you know, yeah, or whatever, yeah. you know. And they've got to like each other. They've got to get along, you know. Or again, they're not going to last. Or again, <laughs> they're not going to last, reason. yeah. Yeah. Just really quickly while we while we've been talking i just quickly google because i knew there were more girl bands than i was giving credit to in in america i just could not come up with the names tlc yeah there you go i loved tlc there you go (laughs) when i was in like what junior high yeah i had had their albums they were great um and they were cool you know and they wore like costumes and did choreographed dance moves and stuff but they weren't like they weren't like overtly like stripper sexual, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, they were just cool. Um, then you had In Vogue, which I did mention, the Supremes, SWV. I forgot no, about I don't know them. Who they are. The Pussycat Dolls. What is their song? They do have a song that I know. What's Something it? about boyfriend. Do you don't wanna... you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? No, that was the Sugar Babes. No, that's the Pussycat Dolls. Oh, well, I think the don't Sugar you... Babes. I think the Sugar Babes covered that one. Nah, freak like the... me. Yeah, that's not the song. Don't you wish your girlfriend was, was a freak hot like me? me? A freak yeah. like me. <laughs> it's a freak like me. That's what they sing. That's the Sugar Babes. I'll look it up. I'll look it up in a second. The Crystals. I'm not. I don't know them. They're, uh, they look like they're older. Martha and Chiffons. the Vandellas. Martha and the Vandellas. Yeah, we know yeah. them. Um, the Shirelles. Yeah, we know them. Black. The Ronettes, the Pointer Sisters. See, yeah. there's all of these. The Chiffons, like you said, Salt and Pepper. Salt and Pepper. That's just two, though. I don't. Yeah, because I mean, two isn't cut... exactly the same. Yeah, as because what we're I talking mean, about right, Alicia's Attic and all them. They were another duo. It's got to be at least like four or five yeah. to be considered a band. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Th- yeah, three, three at the at the least. Yeah, Fifth Harmony. I know the name. I don't. I'm not doing other music. Um, Escape. Or escape. Oh, you got bewitched on Danity here. Kane. Danity Kane, I think, and if anybody's listening and knows whether I'm right or wrong, let me know. <laughs> but I think Puff Daddy had, and I'm calling him Puff Daddy because that's what my generation referred to him as. I don't know what he goes by now. P. Diddy, Diddy. Sean Coombs. Sean, Sean Combs, whatever. Um, Puff Daddy he was to me, though. <laughs> <laughs> aging myself once again scoopy scoopy dog dog he uh, scoopy. <laughs> he had a show like um pop idol where oh, they where yeah. they create not pop idol pop yeah that's where that's pop where stars that's where girls aloud came from where he pop stars, where he was putting together a pop group yeah and i think that that's what danity kane is it somebody correct me if i'm wrong but i think because I watched that show. Because I was into that kind of thing. You know, I was a teenager. Um, I don't know. Bewitched. Is that a... Uh, they were British, a group, yeah. I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Marvelettes. I'm not familiar with them either. 
Please, Mr. Postman. The Shangri-Las. Oh, yeah, leader of the pack. Three LW. Sounds yeah. vaguely familiar. Girls Aloud, yeah. Girls Aloud, yeah, they're not The American. cookies. The cookies. I don't know them. <laughs> but, yeah, see, so there are, there are quite, quite a few. quite tasty. There are quite a few American girl groups as well. I just couldn't come up with them off the top of my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm just looking it up now, and the Pussycat Dolls did Doncha, and it was just called Doncha. I think is the don't name you? of the song. Yeah, oh, Doncha. Like freak like me, freak like me. What's that song by the Pussycat Dolls? It says. It, I mean, obviously, Look up freak like me. Then obviously they didn't write it. Well, that must be a different song. It's got I a thought different it was. Title. I thought it was. Fr- don't, don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like, like me? me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was freak a freak like, like me? Yeah. Doncha. <laughs> is it the same song and they just retitle it? Is it what what? What is the name of the group? Sugar Babes. <laughs> Don't you love how we're doing? This is this is live, people. <laughs> Suga, like S U G A B A B E S. Sugar Babes, mate. No, 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 no. Not Sugar Babes. Oh, what? Like Suga. What is Suga? Sugar Babes, with isn't no, it, mate? With no R. No R. Yeah, oh. it's all one word too. Sugar. Yes, yeah, Sugar Babes. <laughs> Do you quit saying Suga. Suga. Suga's so not a word. Sugi, sugi. Oh, it's all one word? Suga yeah. babes? Yes, I just said that. <laughs> okay. Freak like me. Let me lay it on the line. I've got a little freakiness inside, and you know the man's got to deal with. Um, I w- oh, this is not their song. No, it's is, not. Is this their song? I don't know. This is not the same thing as Don't Ya. Oh, isn't okay, it? Okay, so I don't know. you guys listening, the song Dominic's talking about, and and if you know music at all, you'll know this song. I want to freak in the morning, freak in the evening, just like me. I need a roughneck brother that can satisfy me. Yeah, we know that song. I uh, don't know if that I don't know if that was theirs or if if that uh, was they, theirs, they, they then that came it. on over here. Yeah, they must have covered it. It says it's by Sugar Babes, though. But yeah, I mean, so maybe. I don't know. Anyway, wasn't that an interesting episode? <laughs> I'm not sure what that episode was. I feel like we were just like rambling and naming naming names of girl bands. Yeah, we love the girl bands. We do. Um, they keep the world going round. I want to freak in the morning, freak in the evening. Yeah, we know that. Song. You're losing them. You're losing just them. Like now. Me. Yeah, we know that song. I need a roughneck brother that can satisfy me. She's got, she's on a little chair here. She's getting all into it here. I'm doing my booty dancing on the chair. Oh, we were just talking about that. How they, the booty dancing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, you were saying, oh, I didn't like them for that. <laughs> they were doing it too overtly sexual. You know, if you're going to do the song, you have to do the moves, okay? <laughs> oh, oh, they're the moves now, are they? <laughs> <laughs> no, if that's their song, that definitely came on over here. 2002, though? No. That wasn't their nah, song. Nah, mate. That wasn't, that can't be their song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta go, because I don't even we know. gotta we're go. Just, we're just rambling. We, <laughs> we're just totally rambling. Unless you guys want to hang, hang in there for a second, I'll look it up. It's a Freak Like Me's a debut single by American R and B singer Adina Howard. Adina there Howard. We go. So Thanks it was, a lot. Yeah. So Thanks it was a lot, an Adina. American song. Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen ninety-five. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. Good old Adina there, coming through in the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you overly laughing at that? <laughs> coming th- Adina coming through in the end. <laughs> what are you even talking about? I don't know. Oh my god. Okay, I knew I knew that that song didn't come out in 2002. Yeah, it sounds like a mid 90s kind of thing. Yeah. Sure enough, it's American. Yeah. Adina coming through like you I mean, said. I only had four of these go because I mean, wait, there's so many. Yeah, I was going to say you didn't really present to us that many. You you always portray it like there's so many girls. The, the, it just seems like there's so many. <laughs> They're just everywhere. They're everywhere. Well, every girl on the street corner is like, yeah, let's get together and form a band. I and mean, try were and get you on a board. fan? Not really. 
I mean, not. I mean, there was a couple of girl. Was, uh, so, some of the songs were like, oh yeah, they're catchy, you know. I can, but I was never one of these guys like, oh, I really fancy Ginger Spice or I really fancy Kerry Katona or Spice I really girls, fancy little, Cheryl Tweedy. I've got to watch Spice Girls, girls Little allowed, Mix, you know? Girls Aloud, All Saints, Atomic Kitten, Banana Rama, Banana Rama, Bewitched, The Saturdays, Eternal, The Saturdays, Mystique, Cleopatra, Alicia's Attic, and. Tice. Entice, yeah. Heidi Range, that looks like just a single person. Bellamy. But she was a band at one point. Thunderbugs? Oh, uh, the Thunderbugs. Vanilla? Mate. Vanilla. <laughs> You've never heard of either of them, have you? Thunderbugs and vanilla, mate. <laughs> we are talking you guys, we are talking we, good stuff. <laughs> we have to go. We have to go. This is this is basically just erupted vanilla, into chaos. This put in the cake. <laughs> What are you talking about? Put it in the mixture of the cake. Yeah. That was their song. Shut up. You're making stuff up. Oh, my God. Okay. We have to pull it together. We have to pull it together and say goodbye for now. Thank you, guys, we'll so much, as always, one. for tuning in. We appreciate your support. And we will talk to you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>